Hi, Roxy. What are you doing in town? I thought I was supposed to meet you up at the club. Well, you still are. I just bought myself a new swimming suit tonight. Oh? Yes. See? That? <laughs> well, I got off work in ten minutes. Follow me out, then. Follow you? Listen, I can change clothes and beat you out there. Uh -huh. That's my girl. Her father's Robert I. Miller. Writes all those adventure books. You ought to see her swim. Hey! Gee, I sure am sorry, sir. I guess I was thinking about having dinner with my girl. She lives up at the club.
It's me, Tom. Oh, Tommy. Oh. What's the matter? What happened? Oh, is he gone? Who? Is he? Oh. I don't see anybody. Just take it easy and tell me what happened. I saw a giant. What? Well, I did. Honest, I saw a giant. He doesn't believe me. You didn't really expect anyone to, did you, Miss Millet? Why not? It's the truth. Honey, a uh, prehistoric monster is a rather large order to swallow. Dad, I didn't say he was a monster. He was a giant. You know, a caveman. A club and all, eh? Yes. What my daughter saw, she saw. Now, let's just let it go at that. Okay. But if you see her giant again, let me know in time to take some pictures. She will. <laughs> Dad, you don't believe me either. Roxy, of course I believe you. I believe you saw something. Well, I saw a giant, a prehistoric giant. How about it, Tom? What did you see? Like I told you, Mr. Miller, I wasn't there until afterwards. Tommy Nelson, I know what I saw. Sure, Roxy, but I mean giants. There were giants. The Bible says so. Yes, it does, in, in the book of Genesis. Something about in those days, giants walked the earth. Well, then. Maybe we can get some flashlights and go out and take a look for ourselves. Huh? No, this thing can wait until morning. Now, you kids go and take your swim before the pool closes. In the morning now. It's a promise. Dad still doesn't believe me. Sure he does. And neither do you. I swear on my Elvis Presley LP. How big did you say he was? Oh, bigger than anybody you ever saw. I bet you were scared, huh? A little. But I had the funniest feeling he wouldn't hurt me. Yeah? In fact, I thought he was kind of cute. Oh! Let's be realistic about this. You said yourself that you fainted. Isn't it possible that you dreamed this whole idea? No, Dad, I didn't. There was a giant. Now, I don't want to call this story of yours a lot of foolishness, and I haven't so far, have I? No. But if there were a giant, if anyone at all Mr. had Miller, been here... come here! What'd you find? I don't know. It sure looks like a footprint, though. Well, let me see. Look, there's the heel, and there's the toes. Look at the size of that. It must have been made by... Say it. A giant. What did I tell you? And that's for finding it. Well, I'll find the big boy himself for it if you feel like that. He left the road right here. Watch out for snakes. Ooh! Better go back to the car. No! He's my giant. Holy 
Holy cow, he was standing right here watching us. And then he turned and took off her. Shadow Mountain. Do you suppose that's where he lives? It's possible. That would account for his never having been seen before. It's too bad we didn't bring the doom buggy. We'd go after him. What for? I'd get some pictures. Maybe even to bring him back. A lot of people aren't going to believe this giant jazz. No, we're not sending about this, you understand? Why not? After the way everyone laughed at me. Your turn will come. I'm going up on Shadow Mountain with a camera. Are you going to write a book about the giant, Mr. Miller? That's the idea, Tom. I'll take you up there. My doom buggy's all ready to go. No, thanks. It is. I just gave it the works. There's no offense, son. But I'd like to take this trip in something a little bit safer. I'll see you in about two days at the most. Well, please take care of yourself. Now, my credit cards are in the desk drawer. You make sure you leave them there. This thing's supposed to be safer than my dune buggy? All right, Kruger, let's go. Now, don't you forget, I want you to meet me at the mouth of Deep Canyon tomorrow at 4.
Another girl thinks you're the giant. Hello, Roxanne. Hello, Agnes. Have you seen any giants today, Roxy? Not today, Mr. Barton. <laughs> Boy, have they got some news coming to them. Oh, I don't care anything about them. I just hope Dad gets back all right. He said he wasn't even going to try to get close to the giant. Just to find out where he lived, that's all. Well, I hope that's all he does. But you know my dad. Yeah, he's just like you. Telephone, Miss Miller. Take it over there. Thank you. You got some other guy on the string, huh? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Was that call from a man or a woman? I really couldn't say, sir. understand. It's just one of those things. Just a minute, please. Do you know where Deep Canyon is? Yeah. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. I've been there lots of times. Why? Don't worry, Mr. Kruger. I'll take care of it. Yes. Thanks for calling. Goodbye. What's up? That was Mr. Kruger from the airport. The helicopter blew a gasket or something. He won't be able to pick Dad up. At Deep Canyon? Yes. No problem. We'll get the dune buggy and we'll whiz right out there. This is whizzing? Wait till we get off the highway. Hang on to your cartermel. But there's no road here. 
what the buggy was made for. coming on a bus, you know. You can't expect him to be right on the dot. I know, but he should have made it for dark. Don't worry about it. You'll see the campfire and come walking in on us any minute now. That's what you said two hours ago. Well, he will. Well, if you believe that, what's the idea of the bedrolls? Look, I carry all this junk in the buggy anyway, so you might as well get some use out I'm of it. I'm not sleepy. So just lie down, take a rest for a while. I'll keep the fire going. Hey, what are you doing with that? I always carry a gun in the desert. There's coyotes around a camp. Put it away. We're not playing cowboy. You know, there's mountain lions around here, too. Well, they won't come near a fire. I know that much. And I'm not going to have you take a shot at something that turns out to be dead. Okay, okay. I'll put it away in one condition that you crawl in and get some rest. Okay. Would be of 
Valerie Vitamins are good, they say, and so's a calorie But I feel like a tiger on one kiss from Valerie I couldn't stand tomorrow And they could have today If someone took my Valerie a half a mile away If I had a billion dollars And a banker's salary I'd spend it all on flowers Give to Valerie Now who's Valerie? Well now wouldn't you like to know? Tom. Yeah. Do you suppose Dad found the giant? Or the giant found him? Nah. Giant probably is way up in the mountain. You know that wasn't going that far. I guess not. Oh, it's my transistor. Something's wrong with it. No kidding. Yeah, sometimes a bump starts it off and you gotta hit it again to stop it. Oh, I must have bumped it again. You must have. Hey, have you been at this? We were saving for Dad. What? The stew. I didn't touch it. Well, I sure didn't. And look at... What'd you do that for? Listen, if he comes back for that club, we'd want to be anywhere around here.
It's Dad's camera. Are you sure it is? Well, I borrowed it enough. Look at the way it's smashed. Well, he could have dropped it. Well, then why didn't he pick it up? Well, it's broken. It's no good to him. Oh, well, it's also insured. Let's not kid ourselves. Well, let's not jump to conclusions either. Come on, let's try the next ravine. and see if the buggy can get through. No, you better stay here. No. There's no use in both of us going. We got to come back for the buggy anyway. Well, then we'll come back. I'm not going to sit here doing nothing. Oh, women. Look, you stay here with the buggy. Nope. And drive it up to meet me when I give you the signal. That'll save us both a trip. Come on. Well, okay. Okay. Ah, uh, the gun. Toss it. Give me a blast in that horn if you see anything. Don't worry about that.
Roxy. Roxy. Roxy? Roxy! Dad. Oh, Dad! Oh. Oh, are you hurt? I think my collarbone's broken. Here, let me help you. How did you get here? Well, we came looking for you, and, and we're both so worried that we didn't know what to do. No, no. No. No, no. No, no. She's mine. She's mine. He understands you. Oh, he's got a beautiful friendship going. Take it easy. <gasps> Dad! Uh, uh, don't do anything to scare him. Me scare him? Smile. Smile. He likes your perfume. Smell all you want. Go ahead. What became of the others? What others? Keep smiling. You didn't come out here alone, did you? No. Tom's with me. I mean, he's out there someplace. Oh, still, he's just curious. Hold still. It's Hold real, it, Roxy. see? He's looking. Looking for lice, I believe. Oh, really? Careful, honey. Take it easy. He won't hurt you. He hurt you? No. I did that myself when I fell on the camera. Dad, I think you better break this up before I scream. Tell him you're hungry. I'm not. Well, think of the alternative. I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hungry. Shake hands with him, Roxy. Oh, Dad. Oh, 
Pleased to meet you. Does he know they're dead? I think so. Or just can't make himself accepted. I'm not having any trouble. And how are you feeling today? Oh, that's fine. I can't eat any more of this. Fake it. That's what I've been doing. Now I'm getting sick. <laughs> Ega. Is that his name? It might be. That's the word he says most of the time. Ega. Oh, Dad, no. That's all I need now is a good drink of sulfur water. Ooh. I don't see how anybody could drink that horrible stuff. I guess it can't hurt me. Uh, make it last as long as you can. It won't hurt you if you're doing something. A prehistoric gentleman, huh? Oh, thank you. Well, here's to you. Water doesn't make you strong. You have to be strong to drink in the first place. No, no, I, I'm still thirsty. Thank you. That does Believe it or not, Dad, I'm going to look at his etchings. Oh, this is nice. No, 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 this, this. Nice. Let's see what you mean. Oh. <laughs> What is it? Look at this drawing. Mm. It's me in my car. Mm. This one. It's me. Roxy. Roxy. If Ega makes me drink any more of this sulfur water, I'll die. We've got to keep him busy. I know. And it's not so bad, as a matter of fact, a little bitter. But it seems to have a certain quality that's good for you. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if the sulfur in these walls isn't what's kept these giants alive all these years. You mean these giants have always been here? Where have you seen those before? In that cave in France. Exactly. Sure. Same style, same everything. Definitely prehistoric. Yes, I'd say that he and his tribe have always been here. Are there others? No, he's the last one. How can you be sure? I took a good look at his family. From the condition of the shrouds, I'd say that the last one died 50, 100 years ago. How old does that make him? Oh, I wouldn't know this.
Keep looking, you probably hid it somewhere. Oh, here it is. The aspirin's in that small pocket. tied up with something, doesn't it? No, it feels pretty good now. Liar. That's no way to talk to your father. The trouble with you is I spoiled you. You sure did. <laughs> what can I do? Nothing. I'll just sit here. How about if I washed your face? Or gave you a shave? It'll make you feel better. You've got all your junk here.
Look, before he has a chance to block the entrance, I'll get his attention. You run out. And leave you. Do as I tell you. Not this time, Dad. You were lucky last night. He's had time to think about you. I'm not going to leave you to get your head bashed in. My father didn't raise me that way. Watch him with that shaving bomb. Better job of shaving him, Roxy. There's no way of telling how old that fellow Look. is. Thank 
He's just down the canyon. I can do it. Go on.
Everything's all right. Dad! He's okay. He's waiting for us. kids. Okay? Honey? Just fine, Dad. Wow, wait, there he is. So long, high pockets.
George, you're drunk. Give me the keys to the car. No, baby, I just had one. That's all, just one, baby, that's all. I've just had one. One bottle? Hey, baby. You've had enough. Well, I'll tell you when I've had enough. You do me a great injustice. I've had enough.
I'm ready, Dad. Well, I'm not. You're gonna have to help me. I can't manage the tie. Here, I'll do it. <laughs> Does it have to be this one? Young lady, that happens to be one of my favorite ties. But the color. You gave it to me four years ago. <gasps> oh. Why, it's lovely. Are you sure you're feeling well enough to go out tonight? Honey, we've got to go out. Well, it's not anything special. It's just a party. Mm, your whole gang will be there. Yeah. You can't avoid them forever. No. Some of them laugh a little. Well, if I know Agnes Henderson, she'll laugh a lot. What'll happen to him? I don't know, but I'm certain we're doing the right thing. If we were to reveal that a giant actually exists, there'd be a whole army out there tracking him down like an animal. No, they wouldn't. We wouldn't let them. Honey, he's from another age, another eon. Come in. Hello, Mr. Miller. Hello, Tom. Wow, D. Wow, wow. You sure look swell, Roxy. Thank you. I'll only be a minute. Is something wrong, Mr. Miller? We're just talking about our little adventure. Oh, I see. You do? Well, sure. A girl like Roxy don't get over a thing like that right away. Doesn't. That's what I say. She's got to get her mind off it. And this hop tonight will help. Hop? Yeah, my combo's going to be there. Man, they swing. So I understand. I'm ready. Well, let's split then. Uh, Mr. Miller, I got my dad's wheels tonight. Really? Do they fit on your car? <laughs> You're funny, Mr. Miller. Real funny.
Hey, wait a minute, friend. What is this, a masquerade? That is Miller's giant, darling. <laughs> oh, come on, you can talk plainer than that. Look out, Mr. Christman, he's for real. What did he say? He's real. Of course, he's real. <laughs> Quick, call the police! There's some time of giants here! with you 100%, but perhaps we should be a little more discreet about it. What on earth are you talking about? Getting as far away as possible from that music, it's a good idea, but we guess here. No, the music's wonderful. I could listen to Tom sing by the hour. And you have. I just wanted some fresh air, that's all. Is it, honey? No. Dad, I've got the funniest feeling. What is it? I can't describe it, but I just know something's happened to him. Him? Iga. The giant. Or whatever he is. Something's happened to him. Roxy, look at me. I love you very much. You're more like your mother every day. Every living thing was her personal concern, and she worried about them. That's just it, Dad. But you see, worry isn't the feeling that I have. I don't know what it is. He's a creature. Well, you just have to look at him to see that. He even tried to kill us. But yet... But... You can't get him out of your mind. somebody else. Maybe him, huh? Hey! Where you been? I was belting out a tune just for you in there. I look up and you're gone. We could hear every word, Tom. I said hear, not understand. You're funny, Mr. Miller. Really funny. Come on, Roxy, let's dance. Wait a minute. What's the matter? I thought I heard sirens. Oh, uh, that's Dino's sax. It leaks. No 
no, mister. Don't.
poor devil. Remember, I love you. Where did he come from? Is he real? Who is he? Yes, he was real. It says so in the book of Genesis. There were giants in the earth in those days. Chapter 4, verse 32.